Hi everyone, it's Coach Delia. So glad to be back with you guys here. Um, it's been a crazy few days. I had to get out of town for a couple days and then we celebrated Mother's Day on Friday. So I wasn't I wasn't able to hang out with you guys for a couple days, but I'm back with the coaching tip of the day. And what I really wanna talk about today is healing. Um, healing is kind of a word that's been thrown around, but I like to bust myths, right? So a lot of people say things like, you know, healing takes time, time heals everything. And for those of you who have gone through some things, maybe something such as like grief and loss, you know, death, death of someone, um, maybe loss of a job, loss of something, there's a little grieving. And I don't care how much time goes by, it doesn't really heal anything if you're not doing anything to help the healing process along. Then you have a lot of these people that are going around trying to figure out how to heal and keep jumping into different modalities, keep trying different things, and are not really getting to the core of the actual trauma or what actually caused the hurt and the pain. So they're running around trying to heal. There are those people that just don't try, right? Like, oh, well, it happened, it's gonna hurt forever, and they kind of just wear it on like a label or a tattoo. So there's there's different people, and each of their ways is very different in regards to healings, but I see, I see the struggle. I see the struggle in people daily. I walk, I would go to the store, I'm at a car wash, and I see pain in many people, and I see that our people are trying to heal, but they don't know that the healing is within them. So yes, newsflash, you can actually heal yourself. How crazy is that? So I have been living proof of many of the things that I share with you guys. So I'm kind of getting a guinea pig. I like to guinea pig myself before I talk to people about it. Then I jump on friends and family and they let me guinea pig on them. So I have a lot of case studies where I see where I've experimented, where I've tapped into a lot of people and, and pretty much help empower them to heal many issues or many things that have been plaguing them. And yes, you've heard the word correctly. It's kind of like it's plaguing you. There are things that happen to us at a very young age. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Sean. Thank you for being on here. There are things that happen to us in life, happen to us, happen through us, or we just happen to be witnesses of, and it puts this scar of some sort, right? So when I talk to people about trauma, pain, negative memories, I always like to use a record. And, you know, for the ones that are a little bit younger, CDs. And now the ones that are younger, I use something else. But I want you to think of your life as a record, okay? So you have this record and it's playing and it's great. And all of a sudden there's a scratch on it. So when it gets to the scratch, there's like, a right, something happens. So the record is fine. Everything's going good. Everything's going great in the record. And then all of a sudden it gets to the scratch. And every time it gets to the scratch, it jumps. And all of a sudden the song is a little bit off. Does that make sense? Am I making myself clear? Because I really want you guys to understand how you have the power to heal many things in your life. And all you have to do is figure out how to get it done. But it's using your own heart energy. So you actually have the ability to heal many things. So going back to the record, our, our life is a representation, right? So the record is a representation of our life and everything's going fine, we're with our family, everything's going good, and then we get to the scratch. And this scratch could be a reminder of something that hurt us in the past, a reminder of someone we miss, a reminder of something. So when you get to the scratch, it takes you a little bit of min a minute to kind of adjust back to life and then allow the record to keep going. Does that make sense? So what I help people do is get to that scratch. Wherever that scratch is, we polish it out, okay? It doesn't mean we go back and we erase things. But what we do is we, we detach or unattach the negative emotion you have towards this particular memory. Now, a lot of memories are conscious. Many of them are not conscious. So there's things that you're carrying around that aren't even your fault, that could be generational, that could have come from your parents, your grandparents or whatever, and you just kind of wear it and don't have a clue to what it is. So the type of healing that I practice with you guys is getting to the core causes of many reasons why we might be playing this record and the scratches there. So revelation is awesome. Awareness is key. So through working together, we get to find out where these pains are, where these memories are, where these hurts are, get to the scratch by different modalities, allow you to buff that scratch off and just keep going. So here's the thing. I'm just a guide. I will guide you through so you can do it to and for yourself. Because what we want to do is equip ourselves with tools, with techniques to know our own power. Once you understand how powerful you are, you get to use that superpower for everything and anything in your life. Yes, including healing negative memories, even to PTSD level. And I've seen it over and over again. 
I've gone through different certifications, I've gotten different training because I see these people that are bogged down by yesterday's worries and many of them aren't even their fault. Many of them they're not even aware of. Many of them, one horrible memory scratched their record and now every time they try to go on with their life and play their record, there's this uh, skip and we just don't know how to get back into the game. Does that make sense? I don't want this scratch to ruin your life or to prevent you from continuing to great get get greatness um exp get great experiences coming into your life or you feeling bogged down because what I've seen in a lot of healing practices is that people come in and they're very heavy and they don't know what it is. And for some reason because they're so heavy, they can't do little things or they can't move forward or they just feel stuck. But the minute you understand these scratches, you start polishing them away, you get the wisdom out of it and why they happen, whether it's your fault or not, all of a sudden you're letting go of things that are weighing you down. You become more free. And yes, it's kind of like a detox, right? And or the decluttering of your home or things of that nature. So you're letting go of all this heaviness that has weighed you down. I don't care if you've been carrying it for 20, 30, 50, 60 years or for two days. It doesn't matter. It heals just as quickly as if you were carrying it forever or short term. So what I want to let you guys know is that you have such powerful energy inside your heart that you have not even had a chance to tap into. And I see that many people are trying to heal different ways. They're trying different things. They're, they're trying to learn. And there's a step desperation for wanting to heal and everything is is being looked for on the outside and everything you need is on the inside you just need a tour guide that's all once you have a tour guide they show you how to get to where you need to get heal the scratches that need to be healed so your record can continue to play smoothly without interruptions now does that mean life is gentle to you and nothing bad ever happens no things happen the difference is you're going to be better equipped to be able to handle those things so if this is something you want to learn more about let me know send me a message comment here let's all kind of share what's working what's not working so we can empower other people but if you're already sick and tired of being sick and tired and you want to feel lighter and you want to be unstuck and you want to just get on with your life there are, there are things that help you do that. So I want to encourage you guys to reach out if you need this help. I have an event, a workshop starting on May 30th, so about two weeks. We're going to have a four-week journey. So we're going to meet once a week for two hours a day. And what we're going to do is through creative art, we're going to use paint and canvases and all that good stuff. We're going to learn how to heal ourselves, tap into ourselves. So this is something I want to offer to you. And again, it's four weeks. It's two hours a week. We'll be meeting on Thursdays from six o'clock to eight in the evening. And I really want to bring this workshop out to kind of empower people and to get them to realize just how powerful they are through art and through a whole lot of healing modalities using your heart's energy. So feel free to reach out if you have any questions. Would love to answer those for you. Um, putting an event together for next month as well starting at the end of june so that's kind of all in the game right now but i want to bring these healing tools for you and to you so you can learn to empower yourself because once we empower and heal ourselves we can go out and help other people as well and as we want we want to create this awesome ripple healing effect um, to first exercise ourselves and then go out there and help other people. So I hope this has been useful for you guys. I see you guys trying. I see you really guys that are pushing forth and really making an effort to heal. And some of you are just stuck. So that's what I'm here for. Love you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Hope uh, you share this video if you found any type of value in it. And I look forward to hearing from you guys. Have an amazing day. Uh, again, the workshop starts on May 30th, 6 o'clock. And I have the events here on my page. Have an amazing day, everybody. We'll talk to you soon.